Good morning and welcome back to a new reading vlog. It is Monday, September 6th and oh my god, it's 11-11. Make a wish. That's actually kind of creepy. Used to happen to me all the time and then like other things like that. And that was the time also when I was very into, this is so random, but like when I was so into crystals and books about the soul and you know, the universe and stuff. And then things like that starts to happen. It's kind of crazy. Speaking of crystals, <laughs> I'm so talkative this morning. Um, I haven't been buying crystals in a while. If you, I haven't really talked about it, but like I have a few crystals. I have a lot of crystals actually. And I used to be really into them, but now it's been a while. It goes like in periods of time. But the other day I ordered some beautiful crystals and I'm so excited for them to arrive because unfortunately we don't really have a store where I live where they sell crystals. That would be great because it's just special buying them physical in a physical store but there are plenty of online stores where they sell beautiful crystals and I'm so excited for them to arrive probably and hopefully this week so I will show you uh, I just I'm kind of like into crystals again which is great because it's so fun and it's so magical <laughs> but yeah it's Monday it's 11 11 on this wonderful morning I was feeling pretty anxious this morning but it's kind of calming down because I did some ahem, <clears throat> therapy and with therapy I mean shopping <laughs> no this was actually planned it was not a spontaneous buy I was planning it because um, I ordered the third book in the curse breaker series because I just finished hearts of isn't broken so I bought the third book so that was all planned also bought a book um, for my dad's birthday which is in two weeks so and a few other books I couldn't just limit myself to one so I did <clears throat> buy some more but I think I limited myself good so we're fine we're fine but I work tonight I start at 2 and I go on till 9 30 which is a normal shift it's fine I've been sitting here I've been editing my reading vlog that's going up tonight because I didn't do that last night I usually do it on Sundays so that I don't have to stress on the Monday but I was home late last night so I did it today good that's really good nice job now I'm just sitting here watching some YouTube I'm about to start reading and I'm also trying this new knuckle flavor cloudy soda I bought it yesterday it's not my favorite but it's it's okay my current read is The Institute by Stephen King I'm on page 69 and I'm really really enjoying it it is kind of slow paced but it's like the perfect slow pace and I'm kind of expecting that with Stephen King so I'm not mad about it at all and we follow like two point of views so we have you know Tim a former cop that kind of wanted a calmer quieter job so he took a job at the local sheriff's office working at nights in this small very quiet town you know not expecting anything to happen really which I'm expecting something to happen I just haven't gotten to it yet and then we follow another point of view where we have this kid, Luke, I think he's 12 years old and he's a genius, he's like smart, he's going off to college, that, that's how smart he is, he just aced the SATs and we follow him and I'm expecting something to happen, I, I haven't really gone to a point where anything has happened really, um, I've gone to meet the institute thing, it's just kind of popped up where I'm at so I haven't really understood it yet. But I'm really enjoying it, loving it actually. I love Stephen King. I need to buy more of his books because I'm just really immersed into the story. And it feels like I'm just in a, I don't know, I just, I love it. I love the atmospheric of it. I just, I'm feeling really good. I'm gonna try to read some before work. But to be honest, this has been like a book where I've been reading at night when it's dark in my bed, kind of to get the vibe because it's kind of dark and thrilling. So now it's light. It's in the middle of the day. I don't know if I'm going to be in the mood for this, but we'll see. And I don't want to pick up another book because the, um, I think it's called A Woe So Bold and Deadly, is going to come in soon. So I don't want to pick up anything up because when that arrives, I'm going to want to pick it up immediately. But yeah, this is my current read. I'm really, really enjoying it. My first Stephen King book, definitely not my last one. And that's it. Welcome. Welcome to a new week. It is a little while later and I'm just about to get ready to head to work but I've been reading a little bit in the institute and I wanted to update you guys. I'm on page 109 and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's kind of spooky and freaky. 
so you know we had this kid luke who's practically a genius he's 12 years old and you know he's at a college kid's level with his brain <laughs> and you know he has been kidnapped by these people that run the institute which is kind of like you know where they have these kids where they you know take tests and they kind of do experiments on them i assume kind of that thing which is very creepy and you know weird so we have that he's been kidnapped and you know he's there with a bunch of other kids different ages and he's kind of trying to figure out what's going on you know what happens to his parents and how the hell do i get out of here kind of and it's really, really spooky and creepy and i'm loving it and i'm excited to read more tonight when i get home from work hopefully or tomorrow but yeah i'm really enjoying it and if you haven't read this i definitely recommend it so far you know i haven't read it the entire thing yet but i can't imagine that this isn't gonna be really good but yeah now i'm gonna head to work and i will talk to you guys tomorrow probably hello guys it is tuesday it's pretty late in the evening it's like nine o'clock in the evening and i've just been working all day and after that when i got home i was just very exhausted it was a pretty stressful day at work so i just nap took a shower i've eaten and now i've just been relaxing and reading and i've been reading quite a bit in the institute i'm on page 149 and i'm really really enjoying it even though it's pretty slow but as i've told you kind of expected from stephen king and you know i'm kind of vibing with it and it's pretty cool because these kids that are kidnapped by the institute are kind of like separated into two groups so like either you tp or tk so basically they have gifts so either you have the gift of telekinesis or telepathy i don't really know how to say it i think that's the word so that's really really cool and very interesting so i'm really really enjoying it and i might read some more tonight before bed but i'm getting pretty tired so we'll see but yeah this is like my cozy reading nook i'm really liking it yeah the gorgeous lamp that's so cozy and a lot of plants and yeah just, i just think it's so cozy here in the evening when it's dark out um the only thing i'm missing is candles i need to buy some candles that's like the only thing i'm missing <laughs> hello guys it is wednesday it's about 10 30 in the morning and i have today off as well as tomorrow before i work the entire weekend which is very nice so today i'm heading out actually and tonight some friends are coming over and we're gonna watch have a like a movie night which we've talked about like doing for a long time but it's hard to find some like a day where everyone is available because some of us work some are studying and you know it's just it's a lot but tonight worked out fine for all of us and i'm very excited about it and to show you guys or to show them my apartment as well so Yes, but reading wise, I'm reading The Institute, as you know, and I am currently on page 179 and I'm really, really enjoying it. It is pretty slow, which, you know, can be boring at times, but honestly, I'm liking it. It's for me, this is like fine if it's slow because the story, I feel like it fits if it's kind of slow and it's creepy. It's weird. It's very cool and i'm excited to see what stephen king does like what's gonna happen because now we kind of just you know are, we're stuck kind of at this point you know where luke and the other kids are at this institute and you know they take tests and they're kind of like experimenting on them and some kids disappear and they're new kids all the time and you know it's kind of like stuck at that point where he's there and the routine goes on and on so i'm excited to see what stephen king is gonna like what's gonna happen and what is gonna come i guess so i'm very excited so i will be heading out and i don't know when i'm gonna be home but then at six o'clock my friends are coming over and you know we're gonna watch movies so don't know how much reading i'll get done today um maybe you know tonight before i go to sleep because this has really been the mood also when right before bed when it's dark out in my bedroom with like a little light on kind of creepy vibes but i'm honestly living it because this is such a you know if you really want to get the vibe like really in the dark reading this it's at night it's just been perfect and i'm really really enjoying it so hopefully i'll get at least a little bit done reading today we'll see but if not i have the day off tomorrow as well and then i don't have any plans so yeah that's good. 
I also really need to clean today. It gets messy. I didn't think it was gonna get that messy. You know, I live by myself. I work a lot. I'm not home too, too much. Like, and I'm not a messy person, but you know, it, it gets messy. I need to clean the sink. I need to clean the bathroom. I need to vacuum the floors, but I need to do that when I get home because I'm soon heading out. So hopefully I'll have time to do that before my friends come. Um, so it's not a disaster. Also, I'm hoping to find some plants today. Plant shopping is the best kind of shopping, am I right? I have a lot of plants actually, I haven't shown you, but um, I want more, I can never get enough. Also, my crystals have come and I'm gonna pick them up, which is very exciting and I will show you guys when I get home. So, an exciting day, I'm very, I'm very feeling it. But I'm gonna just let my hair, it's still kind of wet, I've showered it this morning and maybe change what I'm wearing, I don't really know, and then I will be heading out. Yeah, I will talk to you guys tomorrow or tonight. Hello guys, it is Thursday, it's noon-ish and I've just been chilling and eating breakfast, kind of taking it slow. I was supposed to be off today, but they asked me yesterday if I could work tonight because it's kind of a crisis at work because a lot of my colleagues are sick, so we're kind of very short on staff. So I said yes because I want to help and why not? It's not like I had anything planned. So I have a super short chef tonight. So that's fine that happens and you know when a lot of people are sick it's kind of it's very you know it's tough it's tough to find people and i'm honestly a person who often say yes to extra shifts because you know it's good with extra money and if i don't have anything planned and usually i feel good when i'm working you know what I mean? my mental health is really good when i'm working so it's fine um, and it's a short chef tonight so I have the entire day to do whatever I want and this book I read a lot last night before bed after the girls went home we had a great time by the way um, watched a movie they gave me some beautiful flowers and before that I went shopping plant shopping I bought so many plants that now are scattered around my apartment I bought pumpkins real pumpkins and I bought this beautiful Woodwick fall candle mm -mm. It smells so good. I have, I'm really picky with my candles. At first, they're supposed to, you know, be pretty. But also, the smell is very important. So usually, I'm not able to find one that's both pretty and smell good. Or like fall. I wanted something that smells like fall. And this one does. So I'm very happy about this purchase. Um, yay. So now, now my apartment feels like fall, which is great. But um, let's do a reading update. I'm on page 202. And... I'm still enjoying it. It's still kind of slow, which, you know, it's okay. <laughs> so, but I'm really like, so I'm on page 200 and I'm not even, even halfway. So I'm just like, what is going to happen? There's so many pages left, you know what I mean? I'm just, you know, wondering, but I am enjoying it. I'm definitely going to continue on with it. I'm planning on reading a lot today before I had to work tonight and I'm very excited. Also, the books that I've ordered from Amazon are supposed to come in today, so hopefully they do that and I can start the third book in the Curse Breaker series, which is 
A Vow So Bold and Deadly, I think it's called, because I just finished the first and second book, as you've seen in my reading vlogs. So when that arrives, I'm gonna start that immediately while still reading this. And I'm very excited. Hopefully they'll come in and I can pick them up today. If not, if I don't have the time, I'll do it tomorrow. We'll see. But I'm very excited about it. And I'm ready for a day full of reading before before work. It was freaking hot outside, but I have my packages, so let's open them. I'm so excited. We will start with the small one, which is two books, I believe, that I'm obviously very excited about. Yes. Oh my gosh. So the first one is Corrupt by Penelope Douglas. So this is like a series. I think it's called the Nightfall series. The Devil's Night series, I believe. It looks like it's such a dark fantasy, but I think it's like a dark romance. I don't really know how to explain it, but I heard so many great things about it. And people have said that you should read this in fall because it's kind of like dark, dark vibes, but a romance. And I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited about this entire series. I only bought the first book because I want to know if I like it, but... Oh, most certainly will and I am so excited oh my gosh mm -mm. I love Penelope Douglas so much mm. and oh my gosh I'm so excited about this it's also by Penelope Douglas the queen herself um it's credence 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 I don't know how to pronounce it but I've heard so many good things about it and I know what this is about and I saw someone talk about it and it's like you're either gonna like oh no like you have to kind of separate reality from fiction because yeah I'm not gonna tell you because if you, in case you haven't read it but I feel like you have to separate reality from fiction because what's going on in this like might not be I don't know it might be like gross for some people I don't really know but you have to like separate reality from fiction and you know I haven't read it but I've heard that that's like what you gotta do and I'm very excited about it I love to expand my romance collection because I don't have a lot and I love Penelope Douglas so nice we have the big box which is I think two books for me and then one for my dad I think that's all I got <laughs> Lot of these so we have the book that i'm going to start immediately actually right after i clean this mess up it is a thou so bold and deadly by british camera this is the third book and the last book i believe in the curse breaker series i just read book one and two and i'm now ready to move on to the third one which i'm so excited about i feel like it's a little bit shorter than the rest of them so super excited about this one and i love the red it's so cool then I've been wanting this for so long, but it's been like super expensive, like even for a hardback, it's been at a crazy price and it went down a little, but still a lot from like, even though it's a big hardback, I felt like it was a lot of money, but you know, I did it. It's fall, it's winter soon, and I just want to read all of the fantasies. So I got The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, which I believe is an adult fantasy and I've never read adult fantasy, but I'm feeling like I'm maturing and I feel like I was really interested in this, so I bought it. It is a brick. It is a weapon. Mm, yeah, I am. Wow, I am super excited about this one, honestly. And, like, you know, when you really feel like delving into a deep fantasy, this is the one. Hopefully this year, hopefully this fall and winter, I will dive into this and hopefully like it and hopefully read the entire series. Yeah. And the last book I got, the last book I got is for my dad. He doesn't watch this, so it's fine. It is, it's his birthday soon. Lonely Planets, Where to Go and When, uh, which is like a travels book. And it had like great reviews. I wanted to buy something like, it's really hard for my dad to buy presents because he doesn't like want anything, but you know, he likes to travel and there's all these plans for travels. And I thought this would be good. So it's like a guidebook basically, like when when is the best season to go to this place and when is the best season to go to that place, which is pretty cool. And you know, all the continents, all the places, and you know, it's facts. It's, I think it's very, it's gonna be very good. And I want it for myself, but it's not for me, it's for my dad, but yeah. 
it's a really cool book i think so yeah that was the haul i am cleaning up the mess here and then i'm gonna go and start this and maybe read more of the institute we'll see which book i'm in the mood for but i'm excited to start this so let's go i'm just about to head off work but i want to update you guys and tell you that i've read like three -ish chapters of this one and so far all we've been getting is kind of like a rundown slash like recap of what's happened in the second book and how it ended and stuff so nothing has really been happening and you know being this early in you haven't really gone into it yet and nothing exciting is going on but i'm so glad that i've started this one and i might read some more when i get home from work so yeah i'm so glad that i got this today i've also been reading a little bit in the institute and i'm on page 230 and stuff has been going on something really just like happened before it was just really really slow but something finally is like happening and i can't wait to read more hopefully tonight because i don't have to be up early for work tomorrow because i work in the evening but yeah now i have to go and i will see you tonight or tomorrow hello guys it is friday it's about one o'clock and i am starting work at two so i soon have to head out but i wanted to update you guys on the books i'm reading and i've started a new book because I couldn't help myself, I just needed to. This one I haven't read more than when I last up to you guys. I'm on page 44. Nothing has really been going on, just kind of a recap of what happened in the last book. In the Institute, I've been reading quite a bit and I'm really, really liking it. I'm on page 284 and as I've told you, things are finally starting to happen. You kind of entered an exciting point where you kind of really need to know where it's going. And I'm really loving it, so freaking good. And I started Credence, Credence by Penelope Douglas, which I showed you in the book mail that I got yesterday. And originally I was going to wave this one, but I couldn't. It's everywhere on my TikTok and I just needed to pick it up. I'm on page 64. And yeah, as I've said, it's been all over my TikTok, so I couldn't resist. So far we follow this girl. He, she has a difficult name. Wait. Tiernan, I think she's called Tiernan, who her parents passed away and you assume that it's suicide. So, and she's a couple of months um, from her 18th birthday, so she's not an adult yet. So her uncle takes her in, which is basically her step uncle, so not really blood related, which is actually important to know in this story because I know, I know what happens. I've seen the TikToks and you know, he's a lot younger than her dad, younger than she thought, and he has two sons and they live like middle of the nowhere in the woods because they have like their own business and stuff and yeah, nothing has really happened yet but <laughs> the vibes are just so, you know, 17 year old girl comes to live with her step uncle that she's never met who has two teenage boys in the middle of nowhere. It sounds a little bit sketchy, I must admit. It does, but I'm liking it and I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, I've seen a lot of spoilers, don't know how I feel about it, but I'm excited and I'm glad that I picked it up. I just couldn't resist, okay? I couldn't. So now I really have like all of the categories here. I have fantasy, I have like thriller and romance. So I'm like, when I'm in the mood for that, I pick up that, which is good. It's honestly nice to have different books like this because then I'm like, if you're in the mood that night, you can read that. And, no, it's just I'm such a mood reader, so that's why this happened. So yeah, but now I'm just kind of sitting here drinking some caffeine. I'm gonna put on some music to kind of pump up for Friday night at work, which is the life. And it's fine. Working weekends I actually like because it's always calmer. It's more cozy. We have more time to do stuff with the patients because it's not as busy as on the weekdays. So I'm not complaining. It's always a little bit more cozier, always a little bit more chiller on the weekends. So I'm not mad about it. And yeah, I'm excited. And I will talk to you guys when I have something to say because I'm not gonna be reading anything more today because I have to be up early tomorrow for work and I will be home late. So, but I'm enjoying all the books I'm reading and oh, I'm so excited for credence. The amount of TikToks that I've looked at, hours and hours of TikTok and YouTube talking about this book. I'm a little bit scared, but I'm excited. Well, now I have to go soon. Bye.
good morning it's sunday it's like 11 in the morning and i'm just you know, i'm working all weekend which is why i haven't vlogged as much i think i don't have a lot of footage and i'm sorry but i have a few hours until i am heading off for work i work this evening and yeah but i have been waiting quite a bit when i've been at home i'm almost done with the institute i'm on page 407 so i don't have a lot left at all so my goal and priority is this one and i'm hoping to finish it today that would be good hopefully now before work but if not i'm gonna try to finish it after work because i really do want to finish it i've also been reading quite a bit in this one and i'm on page 262 and it's weird and unrealistic which you kind of have to keep in mind and also separate reality from fiction and i do like it it's kind of it's fun and it's very easy to follow and read which is why i've been reading so much but i wouldn't say it's like a masterpiece it's more of like a fun easy smutty romance kind of thing and yeah i'm enjoying it i am and in this one i haven't been reading anything basically i'm only on page 44 i haven't been focusing on this one i've been mostly focusing on the Stephen king book so that's that but yes as i said my goal today is to finish this one hopefully i can do it if not definitely by tomorrow but i'm gonna go and try to finish this one and hopefully let you guys know what i thought and my rating and my thoughts so let's go like 12 10 or something like that and i just finished the institute by stephen king and oh my god what a great book um my first ever stephen king book obviously and definitely not my last one i really really enjoyed it not sure about rating yet but like at least a four star i think um not sure it's a five star but definitely a four star but i'm not really sure really really enjoying it so suspenseful and creepy thrilling beautifully written and wow i'm just like in awe honestly it's it's really good and like it's a pretty thick book it has like almost 500 pages but i feel like i read it pretty quickly for being such a like slow book and being stephen king because it is very slow but i kind of liked it with the story honestly and yeah so freaking good and i'm so excited to explore more of his books in the future but yeah, now I have a little bit, uh, I start work at 2 and it's like 12.15 or something. So I have a little bit of time before I need to go. I'm just going to chill. And if I read, I'm going to focus on uh, Vow So Bold and Deadly by Bridget Kimmer. And yeah, maybe I'll read some or I'll just watch some YouTube before I leave. But we'll see. I will talk to you guys tonight and end the vlog and everything. So see you. Hello guys, it is quite late. It's like 11 in the evening and I'm home from work. I've showered and I'm just relaxing. But I wanted to do like a final update before I end the vlog here because it's Sunday night and yeah. I read a bit of this. I'm on page 98 and I'm really, really enjoying it so far. Really good and I'm excited to read more. But I have to be in bed soon because I'm heading up early for work tomorrow so... Maybe I'll read some more before bed, but honestly, I don't think so. But yeah, that was it for this reading vlog. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in one of my next videos. Bye!